the terms super conscious, conscious, and subconscious. Some of your spiritualists say mind, body, and spirit. Some of your scientists see energy, matter, ether. Some of your philosophers say a thing is not true for you until it is true in thought, word, and deed. When discussing time, you speak of three times only, past, present, future. Similarly, there are three moments in your perception, before, now, and after. In terms of spatial relationships, whether considering the points in the universe or various points in your own room, you recognize here, there, and the space in between. In matters of gross relationships, you recognize no in between. That is because gross relationships are always dyads, whereas relationships of the higher realm are invariably triads. Hence, there is left, right, up, down, big, small, fast, slow, hot, cold, and the greatest dyad ever created, male and female. There are no in-betweens in these dyads. A thing is either one thing or the other, or some greater or lesser version in relationship to one of these polarities. Within the realm of gross relationships, nothing conceptualized can exist without a conceptualization of its opposite. Most of your day-to-day -day experience is foundationed in this reality. Within the realm of sublime relationships, nothing which exists has an opposite. All is one, and everything progresses from one to the other in an ending circle. Time is such a sublime realm in which what you call past, present, and future exist interrelationally. That is, they are not opposite, but rather parts of the same whole, progressions of the same idea, cycles of the same energy, aspects of the same immutable truth. If you conclude from this that past, present, and future exist at one and the same time, you're right. Yet now is not the moment to discuss that. We can get into this in much greater detail when we explore the whole concept of time, which we'll do later. The world is the way it is because it could not be any other way and still exist in the gross realm of physicality. Earthquakes and hurricanes, floods and tornadoes, and other of what you call natural disasters are but movements of the elements from one polarity to the other. The whole birth-death cycle is part of this movement. These are the rhythms of life, and everything in gross reality is subject to it, because life itself... So I was wondering if anybody could help me with um, how I should the power these the coils. They're bifiler, both of them. And, and uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, should I use... Uh, when putting just AC through them, it wants to draw too much amps. I was wondering... Oh, wait a minute. Well, maybe I could have those. What if I just hook those two up as being like that inductor there? And use that. I've been running this one, and um, Big Bob and I've been working on. I got to show you all that in the other video. Um, but, uh, Exists as a tool of your own creation. 